Hello and welcome to yet another episode and welcome to my two guests. Oh, well, well that's wrong. Try this again. Much better. Peter and Clayton, welcome to episode four and welcome back to the show. I know this is your guys' third time. Could you not get any other guests on? No one's as good as, as you two. Oh. Yeah. oh, so sweet. <laughs> And welcome to all our viewers to episode four. I can't believe we've made it four episodes in. It's been, it's been going good. So on today's episode, we've got three segments. On the first segment, we're gonna just chat about, um, we're gonna chat to our guests about what they've done through affecting change in their community. As we had last episode where a guest was talking about how they were affecting change in society through their initiatives. So we're gonna ask our guests something they've done. I'm really excited for that. Second segment, we've got the exact same game where I'm hoping to burn and obliterate these guys' taste buds next level. So let's get right into it. Peter, I see we're back at it again with the Hawaiian t-shirts. Mr. Hawaii? Um, yeah, I went for a tiger vibe this time. Um, like I'm, Tiger King? And I'm, I'm inspired. Um, <laughs> no, it was a good show. It was a good show. Carol, Carol Baskins. Carol Baskins. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it's a, you know, s it's still summer. Yeah, we're getting into winter now. It's getting a bit colder. Mm -hmm. Clayton, still on the plain colors, I see. Absolutely. Uh, my question is, are you going to have a different shirt for every segment? We might need to Not put segment, it in, every show. I think I need to put it in my budget and <laughs> find a, a reputable source where I can buy these from. And your deodorant? You've got to put that in your budget. Your no, no, I switched to Nivea. <laughs> I for did. men? Yeah. For, <laughs> for men. Are you sure? I'm sure. It actually smells pretty good. I actually, was, was, yeah. Now, Clay and the Pete, um, <laughs> in this segment, uh, you know, we, we want to talk about certain initiatives that are in society and in communities that are affecting change for the good. And I know... Um, fr from your guys' side that because of COVID, there's something you guys have done for the last three or four years mm -hmm. where every single June you go up and you help a community with a team. But because of COVID, now you guys ha you guys weren't able to go in the yeah, last year. Yeah. Now COVID's coming down, vaccinations rolling out. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to get vaxxed or anything. my Johnson or um, J -J -Jab. J -J -Jab, yeah. JJ Jab. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We're going to get vaxxed. Now, I'm sure this means your, your whole Swaziland and Bulembu mission, you know, is back up. Okay, yeah. if you want to just jump in and tell us well, about that. Um, yeah, funny enough, we went probably the first time together 2012 yeah. or 2013. I believe so. Um, where we, we didn't organize that one, we, we just went along, but I think we both kind of fell in love with the place. Absolutely. Um, with what's happening there. Essentially, um, I can't wait for you to go if you get the opportunity to. Oh, awesome. I'm keen. But, and um, we record a show there too. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Palembo is a town in um, Swaziland, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they, yes. were, they were like a mining community correct. Uh, that mined asbestos. And when, you know, sanctions came down yeah. and everyone found out it was terrible for you, um, I think that mining town just disappeared. It went from like 15,000 to like 500 people overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then a couple of farmers got together and bought this land and gave it over to this, um, to this church called the Potter's Wheel, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, they started an orphanage program there. And now they've got something like 400 orphans that they're, I believe so, um, and they're, they're creating a community. They've created businesses and jobs and they take these kids wow. um, all the way through, yeah. like to matric, help them get uh, education yeah. and help teach them stuff. So it's an incredible um, initiative and it's huge. It's, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful place now, to be. I know on stats in terms of Swaziland and stuff, like some of the highest orphan rates in the entire world yeah. is in Swaziland yeah. and HIV rate. Yeah. I think percentage per population. I think there's more cases there than anyone else, sure. anywhere else in the world. I think I think that disease, is specifically in Swaziland, has just devastated mm. um, small communities, families, and I think you look at the devastation and you see the need out there and how um, Bulimi Ministries has been able to meet that, but mm. how much wow. there is. Yeah. Wow! And I've got a specific memory that I wanted to share. Because um, at the end of the trip, we do an initiative where we will, uh, they have like little family, family units that they create mm. um, with some of the kids. Mm. And then they have supper every night. And one of the final nights we had to, we, we go and sit and have supper with them. It's really nice. Oh, wow. Um, and I had a moment where I was like showing them photos of my friends and my family <laughs> and stuff. On your phone? On my phone, okay, yeah. Because yeah. they love phones. They're yeah. not, they're, 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 I think uh, there's restrictions on phones okay. in the area. Mm. And uh, I was showing them photos of my mom and my dad and my sister and you guys. And uh, so they were like, oh, who's this? Who's this? And I just, there was 
was a moment where I was showing them photos of my mom and my dad. Oh. And then it was, it, it became very, very real for me because of my age, because I'm, you know, over 30, mm. I still have a mom and dad. Oh, wow. And that was significant for them. Mm. Because um, most of them probably, well, they were, it was an orphan home. That's correct. Oh, they wow. don't have, they don't have sure. parents. Yeah. And um, so it just, you know, it makes you really appreciate where you come from and what you have. Yeah. yeah. And then you just understand what these young people have to deal with. Sure. Um, and I think on that, you yeah. realize like every person there has a story. Mm. Mm. You know, that, that was just one example. And then you multiply that by yes. the couple hundred kids that are there. Yes. Yeah. And you just realize that the people who are involved in working there, they're, they're as devoted and committed to each individual um, as, you know, the, the story. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And they try and give them the most normal life that you can imagine wow. through schooling, through housing, um, all that stuff, which is yeah. really cool. Yeah. But something I, I really love is um, for the last four or five years, we've been taking young teams, mm. you know, that we take the interns that I'm involved in at work and we take a couple of young guys in our community and, and we go up there but the, the team bonds it takes yeah. two days to drive there yeah. two days to drive back um, you're together and you've got Peter in the car cracking which is, jokes which the is whole just time. a laugh yeah. 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 Peter's the driver Peter, Always. Just, Peter gets us there. You're a bus driver, bro. He's the bus Peter, driver. Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> but you, you're bonding with this team over 10 days, and it's like, you know, if I have coffee with you an hour a week, that, you know, I've only got so much in yeah. the year, but yeah. all of a sudden you cram 10 days, and, yeah. and you just you really get to know someone, and yeah. it's really fun. I mean, I, just, I have so many memories of, of um, the people, like, like where we stay together and we do fires in the hearth and cooking dinners mm. together. But do you sleep in the co like communal places? Uh, like yeah, well, you have your own room, so yeah. we get a house. Anyone snore? Uh, only Peter. Okay, just, <laughs> I get my own room. <laughs> <laughs> Always. But um, so we're living in these in these rooms. But this this vivid memory I have with with the team is uh, the girls have their own room and the, and the boys have their own house, sorry. Okay. Girls' house, boys' house. And we would always eat dinners in the, in the girls' house. So we're coming over one night and we just hear this blood-curdling scream. And, you know, Peter, champion of champions, runs through. I think there were even shouts of, Peter, Peter, help. A David Hasselhoff moment. We, <laughs> and, and we go through and there's the spider. And oh. it turns out Palembo ah. means... The, Spider's web. Yeah, yeah, place of the spider. Really? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's just super scary. And the spiders there are like, not like Cape Town spiders. They're not like those daddy long legs we find. They're like, they're, they're huge. They're, they're. You're, you're taking me straight to a story where you and I. And, whoa, 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 whoa. You and I. And I. And I. <laughs> we were sitting watching a movie yeah. with Peter at our old flat. Yes. And a cockroach pulled through. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding to all the watchers. Clayton and I, we were in our mid-20s. And we screamed like little girls. I was also in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Damn it. We're the same age. We're the same age. Sorry. We've got multiple <laughs> stories like that. Do you remember? And this is kind of embarrassing. We used to like have sleepovers, even though we lived in the same house. Yeah, it's quite embarrassing. We would watch like, like you and I would jump into a double bed and watch you a movie. Shared a bed. Shared yes. A bed. And then For a one considerable night, amount of time. You know those cockroaches, Pete? I don't know if you remember this. Yeah. There's those cockroaches that not only walk, but they're like, they have wings. wings. God yeah. gave his cockroaches With wings. The black yeah. wings. Oh, yes. And it sounds like a helicopter. Just That's <laughs> exaggerating. And it's traumatized. It landed on the curtain, and I think we both shrieked like girls, yep. and Peter ran him. And oh, Bulimbu 2.0. And then I used my foot. <laughs> oh. I will, I will not exactly lie. Me. My wife still does that for me. Oh. And I run out the room, and I close the door. And That's love. No, it's real, it's real love. Thanks, Jenna, wherever you are in this world. But, um, um, yeah, we, we had that. And I think you, you eventually grabbed, caught the spider. I think we put it in like a plastic bowl. Yeah, and then you let it, and I think you were the mm. hero of, of just every young girl on that mm. trip. My favorite is we had a specific trip where we were a lot of boys, mm. but we were all like crammed into the van. <laughs> And then I think they, you you initiated. You were like, okay, at this stop, we're going to swap around now. The girls need to like have some space in the van and the guys need to get into the other vehicle. <laughs> I can just imagine, but just back on point, yeah. around the whole orphans and stuff, South Africa has a dying need because of our like, you know, our harsh history and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just around restoring families and yeah. restoring, because, you know, the answer could be a lot of things, political and whatever, but mm -hmm. there's a huge need to restore families. Yeah. Those orphanages and those specific uh, initiatives in Bulebo and stuff, is that the answer to where this country needs to be going? I believe it's an answer. Yeah. I believe okay. it's a way. One of the beautiful things that we see in Bulembu, in Swaziland, is that it's not just in Bulembu. 
they have something called ICBCs, which yes. is in community by community. So what they did is they, they would find a community champion within a com- within a, a city or a town or a space, a rural village, yeah. and they would raise this guy up as a pastor, and then they would start a, a little creche and an orphanage. Mm. So it's not like people coming in to do this, but it's from within the community. Oh, wow. So Belembu just happens to be an ICBC on steroids. Mm. But there's, there's, I mean, I can't remember the number, but there was probably 60 of these I think, little yeah. ICBCs oh, scattered wow. around Swaziland. Yeah. And I just think that if I think of our nation, I just think it needs, it takes someone from within our own community to mm. rise up and say, hey, I'm willing to do something. You know, when wow. I, I've got skin in the game. This is my yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. Um, I want to take part in something. So sure. that's just that's, sure, yeah. that's my... Yeah. Absolutely. View. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, on that, just to say, Limbu, um, I've spoken to the volunteer coordinator. They are taking teams again this year. Oh, awesome. Is, so I don't know if your viewers want to get... Um, all 180 of them. All 180 viewers? Yes. If they want to get involved, uh, they can reach out to you. We can sure. organize. We'll probably be going again at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we can put Absolutely. together a, a nice team, plan it out. It, I'm going to take my hard. leave. I'm, I'm, yeah, please. I'm also taking Devs. my leave. Is your boss watching? My wife. Your boss. Oh, my, oh sorry. Your other boss. Your other boss. Yeah. I hope not. I hope so, actually. We need the views. Um, I, I think just to, to kind of the reality of it, you go there and you give up your time to work. Yeah. And it's a physical project. It's either building something or renovating something. You toil. Or painting. Mm. Yeah. Or you're doing... Yeah, your time is split. Eh? It's, it's, it's mm. what Peter's saying, working in the morning and then mm. in the afternoons, it's... You get to go and do some stuff at the school and with the kids. Yeah. Um, and what I, what I also really like is that they're very strict with who they let interact with the kids. Okay. So you need to have a police clearance. You oh, need wow. to have those things in place. Yeah. And they're very strict also about filming kids. Mm. Yeah. Some of them need to be protected because there might still be an ongoing case. Yeah. Okay. And I really appreciate that because mm. it just shows you that the people are really, they're invested in yeah. their interests. They care. And they come first. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you've got to do your due diligence with anything like this. Always. Absolutely. Yeah. Always. But it's so exciting. Mm. Yes. It's, it's we, we, yeah. I can't wait to get back. Peter, yeah. I'm sure you're in the same boat. Yeah. And we're sure. going to drag you along. No, I'm definitely going to be in there. Thanks, guys, for just sharing a bit about um, that, that aspect of your lives and, and what, what happens in the community. We've got something really going to be gut wrenching for you guys now. It's not going to be dipping sardines, sardines into tea. tea. So, what we've got in our previous episode, mm. this is what we had. We had our two guests, okay, eating some of the hottest noodles that there are. And at the same time, we quiz them up. Trick this time, we've gone for two times as hot. We found out a place, we ordered it online, we got something twice as hot as what they had. And I best believe you two are going to die while eating it. Sure. This is the game. Um, what's going to happen, you're going to have a glass of milk next to you. You're going to have the hottest noodles you've ever had in your life in front of you. And we're going to have a general knowledge quiz. For every question that you answer right, it's two points, mm. okay? For every sip of milk you take, you lose one point, okay. okay? For every time you blow your nose, you lose one point, but if you just wipe your nose, then that, that, that's okay. That's a, that's a freebie. Yes, <laughs> you can, you, you can well, do we that. Pro- you provided with. We'll provide you with everything, okay? okay. So no, no stress on that. So we all clear on the rules and how it's, yeah. how it's gonna go. Yeah. There are 12 questions. You don't need to worry about saying your name or anything like that, just whatever comes first, there's another big rule. You can't stop eating. Okay. You can't stop and like have a while and think about the answer. You need to go straight. And if you stop. Plowing. When you stop, you lose. So uh, can I stop eating when I answer the question? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you may. Yes, you may. Previously, this segment's be called Will It Dip? It's still called Will It Dip? Or Will You? Ooh. Mm. It dips. <laughs> As we've just said, this is not as hot, but twice as hot. Now, I want to stress the point. We somehow found a noodle that is twice as hot as the ones we had in the last episode. I can smell from where I'm sitting. The vapors. Yes. Now, how hot this is, and I'm actually starting to water. I don't think it's going to go well for you guys. I'm screwed. You're screwed. You got milk, you got tissue paper, you got call a friend, you got call mom. So how does it work with the drinking? You can have a sip whenever you want. You lose a point. Yep. Okay. That's it. And it's going to be general knowledge stuff. The questions are not that bad. Some of them are, you're never going to know the answer. So I'm going to count you guys down. Five, four, three, two, one. And name the best selling book series of the 21st century. Mm. Harry Potter. Two points, Clayton Null. 
Clayton, you you two up already on on Peter, so you you, you don't care about the pain. <laughs> okay, next question, next question. Y'all y'all's ready? Okay. Until 1923, what was the Turkish city of what is what was the Turkish city of Istanbul called? Mm-hmm. You say it, bro. Constantinople. Clayton, mm. do you know the answers to this? Mm-hmm. Peter, you're just concentrating on the food. Are you even listening to the questions? Sweet. <laughs> the sweetness. I just discovered that now. Okay, where is the lowest natural place on planet Earth? Peter, um, Holland. So I'm oh, talking about under the, under oh, the ocean. Mariana Trench. Well done, two points to Peter. Neither of you guys taking a sip yet, eh? And taking anything. Okay, you guys are really dying there. Okay, hmm. name the longest river in the world, and you'll get 10 points on top of that, if you can tell me how long it is. Clayton? Nile. Yeah, you don't have to say your name, but uh, <laughs> it is the Nile. Um, yo. You guys gotta eat, eh? You guys gotta eat. I see so Clayton let's, stalling. Let's go 9,000 kilometers? Nope, Peter? 5,000. Okay, it's 6,650. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys are gonna get that. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Okay. What are you doing? Um, uh, no. Are you guys ready for the next question? Is it, is it too bad? You can tap out at any time. Oh, no, no, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, is that a wipe? Oh, you're allowed to wipe. You're not allowed to blow oh, your nose. No, you're allowed to wipe. Okay. You're not allowed to blow your nose. <laughs> okay, on. you guys ready for the next question? Yes, yes, yes. yes. What is the national flower of Japan? Peter. Mm. Yeah. Sakura. It, that might be the Japanese cherry blossom. Yes. Oh, wow. I know the Japanese and I know the English. <laughs> Hit me up, I'm a weeb. Okay, when did London open the underground? You probably, Claire probably know that, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got hot sauce on the moon! <laughs> Sorry, Claire, it is in the 1800s. I want this specific year. 1880. That is so close, I don't know how you really? guessed that. Really? Yeah. 1888. No. Oh, no. I'm just gonna go through the <laughs> numbers. <laughs> Peter, last, any guesses? 1891. Okay, the answer is 1863, but... Well oh, that's early, eh? It is really early. Guys, Did they had horse, horses dragging? Are you talking to me to like, so you're going to take your next bus? Oh. <laughs> the horse is dragging? <laughs> okay, guys. This is so hot. Guys, mm. just mid, mid round. What are you experiencing right now? Pain. In comparison to the, the one exit <clears throat> that you had. Look at the oil! On my lips! Oh. Man. Okay, you can wipe your lips if you want, bro. I'm in absolute pain. I messed up with the, the thing. Oh no, this is like. So describe, what is the pain though? It's like it's stained wherever it lands. I got some on my arm. Like a beast. We, we love hot food. Whew. Well, no, we do. We love hot curries. curries yeah. We like the Kore- Korean barbecue. I like kimchi, all that good stuff. This isn't fun. Oh. This isn't fun. Let's get over the. Let's get so the is, is, is this hotter than the previous? What? One hour. Oh. Okay, I don't have a bite just now. Okay. I asked this question to the previous guys, and I, and I was wanting to know because of their age, they might know the answer. See, the real oil is at the bottom. I yeah. messed up, y'all. I messed <laughs> up. This is getting redder. I love how they're not even listening anymore to me. It's just, oh. it's just about this. Where was Bully? Where's Bully? Well, where's Billy Eilish from? Where was she born? Canada. No. This is the city. It's in America. Philadelphia. No. Pony. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Wait, Leslie, nope. Parks it's a park and, parks and oh, reference. Oh. Sorry guys, I didn't get it. Get woke, bro. Okay. Uh, LA, Los Angeles. Oh. I also to the other guys, I also didn't know. Okay. Oh, this is a bit out of date, this quiz. It's asking me which is... It's going to go in my nose. That we watched a few weeks ago. It was, we a blow, it was a blow, huh? Yes. Are you guys... Did you blow there, Pete? I almost blew. Oh. <laughs> Let's get through these questions, I can't... Okay. What is the most watched series on Netflix in 2019? The Office. 2019 it was, in 2020 it was. Did he get it right? No, no, 20, no. 2020 it was The Office, 2019 it wasn't. But you it's both, some you, like Victorian thing. No, you guys both know the answer and you introduced me to the series. Try to survive. No. <laughs> Stranger Things. Stranger Things, that's it. Hell yeah. That's the reason I got Netflix, was because of that. Oh. Okay, this is an interesting one. Name Disney's first ever film. Mickey Mouse. Nope. I'll give you a clue, it's what you guys really like right now to have in your mouth. Mouth? Hot? Ice. You hot? Snow white? Well done. Yeah. You really, you, yeah. Did, you did well there. 6'4", eh? I don't know, but I'm, I'm impressed that you guys haven't taken a sip of milk yeah, and stuff. Yeah, 
I really think you guys are eating it very slowly, eh? Go, go, go. You guys gotta go quicker. Just ask okay. the question. Okay, who is... What was the clothing company Nike originally called? Mm. Zeus. <laughs> Who's that from? Is it another it's god? So, it's so Nike, like... Nike is a god. Oh, I didn't even know. No. Get on my level, Get bro! I'm, 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 I'm clueless. What is it, Clay? Uh, is it another god? No, it's none of a... It's like a... It's, it's like the name of a store. Oh, Peter's dying over here. But it's the oil. I'm a useful little get there. <laughs> Whoa, Clayton, you haven't eaten a thing. I'm Minus going. 10 points. No, just go. Just Clay, go. Peter's finished it. Oh. Okay. Oh. The answer was Blue Ribbon Sports. Okay. Oh, I'm never going to get that. No, you're never going to get that. Six. Next. <laughs> Next question. What happened on July the 20th in 1969? It was one of the biggest things to happen in the 20th century. <coughs> I know. July 20th? 1969. Yes. Oh, Woodstock? No. 1969 was the f most famous year for one thing. Land on the Moon. I think you're right, but this is specifically, where's the question again? What happened on July? Yes, Land on the Moon. Apollo 11, Land on the Moon. Well done. Where are you, Pete? But Clayton, you're getting 10 points. You've eaten nothing. I'm Peter's eating. finished the whole thing. The viewers are watching. Peter, apparently you get 20 extra points if you drink all the sauce. Oh. Okay, no, you don't oh. have to do that. You're going to die. Oh. Clay, can you please take bigger bites? Guys, we're in the last question already. Okay. Oh, okay, who invented the iconic little <laughs> black dress? I don't even know what the little black, black dress. dress. Little black dress. I don't even know what that is. Is it a fashion house? I think so. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, uh It is one of the biggest names in fashion, though. Armani. No, that's not dresses. Uh, that's men's stuff. Do you know? Um, is it? I don't know. Don't they do Give men's me stuff? Armani. <laughs> On the phone. You're not going to Paris. <laughs> I can't, I can't do any more. Are you, Are you giving up? Okay, there's only one more question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, ask another oh. one. Oh, mine is a point. Okay. Oh, I just want the tears <laughs> to fuel, just to cool it down. Okay, you guys ready for the last question? Wait, 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 we're gonna get that. Is it a well-known... Well Coco Chanel. I don't think you were gonna get that. Okay, maybe your sister would have got it. Okay, you guys ready? Which language has the most words according to dictionary entries? Peter, Chinese. No. Mandarin. No. German. Uh-uh. Eat up, bro. A English. language with a lot of words. English. Really? English has got the most words, and I, I think it's because it's derived English from was, the most language. I thought English was Germanic, <gasps> which I thought, yo. I think also because English has developed over the last hundred years, you know? Yo, Peter, <laughs> guys, okay. Point tally, how I'm, how I'm doing this, I'm giving Peter an extra eight points, purely because he hasn't taken a sip of anything, he hasn't blown his nose, but also, he finished. Clayton has not finished. So guys, you can stop. We've come to the end. We've come to the end of the entire game. You can blow your nose now. Come to the end of the game. That was wild. I've never seen people sweat next to me before, just from food. Guys, thanks for being such a good oh, sport. And we could go milk now. You can go. You can down the whole milk. Can you describe I'm, to me like what is happening? I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Just don't this, go to the bathroom. This is currently working yeah, through. You had did half the bowl. I did the whole bowl. You know how I'm gonna do? <laughs> Drink it. Um, aren't you, aren't you please take a sip. Please. Aren't you emceeing something tomorrow morning? I am. I am. Ouch. Listen, I'm gonna be out of commission for like two days. I've got, a, I've got a daddy diaper bri right now. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. Ironic, because I'm going to need a diaper for the next two days. <laughs>Clayton and Peter, just want to say a huge thank you guys for joining me on the episode again. You are the most amazing guests. Thank you for enduring the, the difficult game and, and, and everything else like that. Clay, just on a last note, um, you mentioned about William earlier. How can people get involved or in reach with... What email can they send to like if they want to help well, out a, at all? That's a good question. I think, Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, everything that you do need to know, whatever you want to find out, we'll just uh, you can put in the description below. I'll send all that uh, through to you. You can just get it. Awesome. And Peter, if people wanting like fashion tips with like getting shirts and stuff, how do they reach you? I'm um, on Twitch. Uh, it's <laughs> Pitman underscore sixty uh, nine. No, no, no. <laughs> it's Pete underscore man on okay. Twitch and. Uh, and Pete Griffiths double zero on Instagram. Maybe see some some, some lit posts. Some lit posts. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. If you're young and single and you're a lady and you want to follow. True. The content is lit, bro. But thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. And to all our viewers, just a huge thank you for watching and tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Please pay me lots of money so you can keep seeing content like this. I'm just joking. But I'll see you next time. Major all the guys, all the people here in the videos. Or just dudes, just being dudes. Um, so are these videos similar to those first for women adverts that we used to see on the television? True. Game for those for women.
Isn't that, wasn't that it? Yep. Are you speaking or? You, oh my god, I just embarrassed myself on TV. Sorry, mom, if I'm a disappointing guy. The first one is called, um, let me just close. This is Gaida Go Burr. Um, so let's just watch this one. 